One of the ways to calculate the enthalpy of reaction for any chemical reaction or even a phase change is to use the enthalpy of formation. And there's a couple things I think you would need to know about the enthalpy of formation to thoroughly understand it. So let's start with the definition. The enthalpy of formation is the enthalpy change for the formation of one mole of a substance from its elements in their standard states. So for instance, if you wanted to understand the enthalpy of formation of nitric acid, what would you, you would have to do is form one mole of nitric acid from its elements in their most stable state. So hydrogen is H2 gas, nitrogen is N2 gas, and oxygen is O2 gas. And of course you have to balance it. So if you're going to have oxygen balanced here, um, the, the temptation is to change the number of oxygens on the right to be an even number because the oxygen comes in pairs, but since the definition requires that we form one mole of nitric acid, we have to find a way to get three atoms of oxygen without changing the coefficient of the product. So the way to do that is if you had one and a half moles of oxygen molecules, you would have three moles of oxygen atoms. And sometimes I like to show that with a little picture. If you have one and a half oxygen molecules, that would be the three oxygen atoms to make the product. So hopefully that math is straightforward enough. Likewise, if you need one nitrogen atom, you need a half of a nitrogen molecule, one hydrogen atom, one half of a hydrogen molecule. So one half mole of hydrogen, plus one half mole of nitrogen plus three halves moles of oxygen to give one mole of nitric acid and whatever the delta H for this reaction is would be the heat of formation for nitric acid. So there we go the simple definition and where do we use this? The heat of a reaction is going to be the sum of the enthalpy of formation of the products minus the sum of the enthalpy of formation of the reactants. And so if you can write a balanced chemical equation for something you're interested in the heat change for, like water liquid boiling to form water gas, Right, there's a process where we have product reactants forming products. If you took the heat of formation of the product, H2O gas, and subtracted the heat of formation of the reactant, H2O liquid, then you would get the delta H for this process, and I'm going to call it delta H of reaction, even though this isn't really a reaction, it's just a phase change. If we can write a chemical equation for it, we can use this equation, heat of formation of products minus reactants. And so I think I remember these values, minus 241.8 kilojoules per mole for the water gas, minus a negative 285.8 kilojoules per mole for the liquid water, and so it gives a delta H. And if we do the math here, we find out it's plus 44.0 kilojoules per mole. So if you wanted to take one mole of liquid water 
and turn it into one mole of gaseous water, you'd have to put in 44 kilojoules of energy. So enthalpy of formation, super important topic in general chemistry. You want to know the definition. You want to be able to write chemical equations that correspond to the enthalpy of formation. And then you also want to be able to uh, solve problems where you get the heat of a reaction using the enthalpies of formation or the sort of tricky reverso question. If they gave you the heat of reaction, you could calculate a heat of formation of one of the reactants or products by using this equation as well. So there we go, a little bit there um, for my recent quiz. Students had to write this equation. And as I look at it in my head, I'm thinking if this is aqueous, then the, do we have to include the water in this equation? And it's possible. But in any case, just going by the definition, this is what I would write for the enthalpy of formation of nitric acid. So I hope this is helpful for you guys. Definition, example equation, and quick problem to find the heat of reaction from heats of formation. And if you're running, you would look these heat of formation values up in tables. Um, not many people know some off the top of their head.